look, while you're mulling that over, why don't you make yourself useful and join up with those charioteers and haul us a load of gravel, huh, Dad? Okay, Flabby, if you'll just step aside. Gentlemen. <laughs> let us leave us bay the moon, huh? Hit it, man. Like these remind me of the girl I left behind me. There's a line goes in here somewhere, but I don't know why. We were sailing along. We were sailing along on moonlight. On moonlight bay, you could hear the voices singing oh, sweetly. They seem to say, seem to say, you have stolen my heart. You have stolen my heart. Now don't go away Now don't go away As we sang love's old sweet song On moonlight We were sailing along On moonlight bay, on moonlight bay, you could hear the voices singing. They seem to say, "You have stolen my heart, stolen my heart." Now don't go. Bing, after hearing you sing, I don't blame Sinatra for trying. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm by the uh, way. Daddy. Have you met Daddy, uh, Daddy Claus? Yes. Have you met our little girl, Frances? Howdy there, Mother Langford. How are things at the store club, Mr. Crosby? <laughs> Is it true that Bob telephoned you from Algiers? Oh, he hit me with a large select item, that boy. <laughs> Francis, give me the lowdown, will you? I see by the North Hollywood shopping news that, that old Highhorn here got Winston Churchill to autograph a short snorter dollar. Yes, he did, and, and Bing, it was so embarrassing. So Churchill did use his own dollar. <laughs> Could I help it if I didn't have change for a pound? <laughs> Francis, I, I hear you saw action. How about that? Action, he says. Are you kidding Oh, yes, Bing. <laughs> and Bob was very brave and so thoughtful. He was always the first to show me where the bomb shelter was. You see, Crosby. 
<laughs> I could still see Bob standing there in the bomb shelter and yelling, Hurry up! Here it is! <laughs> Why don't you two sing something? <laughs> Boy, I could take four bows on hissing alone, couldn't it? <laughs> a cigarette that bears a lipstick's traces. An airline ticket to romantic places. And still my heart has wings. These foolish things remind me of you. A tinkling piano in the next apartment. No stumbling word that told you what my heart meant. A fairground faded swing. These foolish things remind me of you. You came. You saw. You conquered me. When you did that to me, I knew somehow this had to be. The winds of March that make my heart a dancer, a telephone that rings, but who's to answer? Oh, how the ghosts of you cling. These foolish things remind me of you. First daffodils and long excited cables and candlelight on little corner tables and still my heart has wings. These foolish things remind me the park at evening when the bell has sounded the de France with all the girls around me the beauty that is spring these foolish things remind me of you oh strange how sweet to find you still. These things are dear to me. They seem to be near to me. The sigh of midnight train in empty stations. Silk stockings thrown aside. Dance invitation. Oh, how the ghosts of you cling. These foolish things remind me of you. I want to say that this is Bob Hope speaking from America. You know, I left this old country of ours for a few months and came back. In the meantime, the telegraph boy has delivered some telegrams that are tough to take, but the nation is still going around with its chin up. Here and there, a few folks get off the beam and get grabby and selfish and sound off about what's wrong. But there aren't many of these. It's just that they stick out like a sore thumb because the majority are so ashamed of them. And there's more smoke over Chicago and Pittsburgh because the factories are working longer and harder and 4 a.m. to 11 p.m. is a fair day's work on the farm. And there are more ships on the Great Lakes lugging iron from Duluth. More oil wells and deeper mines and more cries of timber in the forest. And there are plenty of people looking back and remembering Pearl Harbor. But plenty more looking forward to putting their arms around a boy that we will always remember as the finest fighting man in the world. So long, fellas. <clears throat> Carpenter making the last noise of the evening. 
the effective command performance is arranged in cooperation with the Hollywood Victory Committee and produced for you men and women of the Armed Forces of the United Nations by the Special Service Division of the War Department of the United States of America. Thank <laughs> you.